On July 14, 2023, Japanese company Illusion announced that it would be ceasing all operations as of August 18th. For me, this announcement was a surprise. I mean, they just celebrated their 30th anniversary in May. But this was also something that I feared was on the horizon for this massively influential but troubled company. Most of Illusion's early titles were standard games with the addition of adult imagery. In 1993, we saw the release of Angel Army, a strategy game, Sex Warrior Makori Man, a platformer, and Makori Man RPG in 1994. I cover this time much more in depth in my History of the Trainer series if you want to know more. But in short, Illusion released a ton of games and really started seeing success with 3D games like the Death Blood series. Then, one day on April 21st, 2006, Illusion released a 3D style game that achieved pretty limited sales. It wasn't until February 12th, 2009, when the Irish newspaper The Belfast Telegraph reported that Amazon was selling this game called Replay that the world lost its collective mind. I mean, Illusion has been making games like this since 1994's Quito Island Women's Prison, so it's not like this was anything new or unusual. As a result of the uproar from this game and actions taken by the Japanese Ethics Organization of Computer Software, EOCS, adult content games were restricted as for sale in Japan only. I actually see a mirror of this in the current increased censorship of adult content games that has been ongoing since 2017, with Patreon, itch.io, and Steam, among others. But I'll talk more about that in a bit. So, I'm sure you can imagine that this was not the best kind of media attention for Illusion, and we saw a pivot to focus more on customizability of characters based on the previous success of the Artificial Girl series and 2007's Schoolmate. I mean, don't get me wrong, Illusion still released games similar to Rayplay, including 2013's Premium Play Darkness and 2014's Real Play. This was a pivot, not an abandonment of what are popular themes and flavors. This leads us to 2016 and the release of what may be one of the most pivotal adult content games of all time, Honey Select. It's actually not that good of a game, but between its expansions and mod support, Illusion had created what was to become the number one asset development platform for adult gaming. Seriously, if you looked at the top earning adult gaming Patreon projects in 2017, most of them used assets from Honey Select. If you looked at the top earning adult gaming patrons right now, many of them still use assets from an Illusion product, be it 2020's Honey Select 2, 2018's Koikatsu, or 2021's Koikatsu Sunshine. While Daz is now the predominant choice for assets in adult games, I have no idea where the industry would be without the massive contribution of Illusion. Recognizing that there was a huge untapped market outside of Japan, Illusion began to release content to the Western market through Faku, including the release of Honey Select Unlimited in 2018. Illusion also released 2017's VR Kanojo later in 2018 on Steam. 2019 and 2020 saw the release of two of the most successful adult games ever on Steam Koikatsu Party and AI Shoujo. Illusion was finally seeing commercial success outside of Japan, and things were looking up. Unfortunately, unbeknownst to Illusion, Steam was changing its content guidelines from 2020 to 2021. Games and flavors that were previously allowed by Steam were unilaterally banned moving forward. This is what happened to the Eventical series from Alisoft. You can still get Eventical 1 and the Eventical 2 demo on Steam, but the full Eventical 2 is banned from Steam, so feel free to get your copy from GOG. This caused immense issues for Illusion. AI Shoujo was gutted for content. Like, the version that I reviewed back in May of 2021 is not what you will get when you buy it now off of Steam. Yes, with numerous patches and mods, you can get there, but it's a ton of effort for a game on Steam. Steam is supposed to be easy. If I want overly complicated, I'll just use Nexus mods. When Illusion released Honey Select 2 Libido DX in June of 2022 on Steam, it had completely removed the studio from the Steam version. The company that had reached new highs of popularity from customization and mod support had removed the part of the game that was focused on customization and mod support. Why? While it is Steam's policy to not comment on the specifics of why it bans games with adult content, Games with an amazing degree of character customizability seem to no longer be allowed. Just ask the developers of Vertimate. 
Which leads us to the important question, why were Illusion's last two games, Koikatsu Sunshine and Room Girl, not released on Steam? Were they submitted and rejected for content? Illusion games have all done very well on Steam. So, it is puzzling how Koikatsu Sunshine, the spiritual sequel to one of the best-selling adult content games on Steam ever, would not get released on Steam. Given that the majority of games banned by Steam for content over the past three years have been Japanese, and given the huge degree of character customizability in modern Illusion games, it is reasonable to wonder if Illusion was another company to suffer from Steam censorship. How dependent was Illusion on revenue from Steam? This announcement of closure was made exactly at the end of the Steam summer sale. How many millions of additional dollars would Koikatsu Sunshine have made for Illusion on Steam? We may never know. As of right now, all sales of Illusion products cease at 10 a.m. Tokyo time on the 18th of August. Eight of the top 10 selling games on DL's site this week are by Illusion. I am sad to see this company go, and hope that someday we'll find out exactly what happened. Fortunately, there is a silver lining here. Illusion's Twitter rebranded itself as Ill Games, and a new Ill Games website was unveiled earlier this month. Not only that, but the release of a new game, Honey Come, was announced for September 1st. Given how long it takes to develop a video game, the release of a full product less than two months after announcing the closure of the company begs so many more questions that I just don't have the answer to. Like seriously, I have so many questions. And that's where we are as of today. I would love to see Ill Games surpass Illusion and find a way to be able to license assets to developers like Daz has done. This would help allow a whole new generation of indie creators, who currently can only release titles on Subscribestar and Patreon, to bring their games to Steam. And as for Ill Games and Steam, I just hope that they can find a way to navigate Steam's changing censorship standards more effectively than its predecessor. So farewell to Illusion, and hello to Ill Games. Until next time, no shaming, just gaming. Thanks to all this month's support on Patreon. I wouldn't have been able to do this without you all.